For Ask the Expert, summer means bikers and runners, you see them everywhere. But if you don't use the proper form while you're working out, you could be doing more harm than good to your body. Yeah, so doing lunges with the proper technique can enhance your athletic performance, whether you are a novelist cyclist or a marathon runner. I want to bring in Aaron Soto, owner of Kaizen Studio Fitness Center. Uh, you have some tips yes. for us. Summertime is so popular for biking yeah. and running. Um, whether you're a novice or you're an athlete, increasing your muscle strength in your legs is going to increase your performance. So the lunge is a great way to do that. And I just want to demonstrate to make sure that everybody's doing them properly. Well, yeah, because what what's the injury. thing you got to worry about? Is your back or lower back? Mostly or? it's the knees. 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 Okay. So you want to step forward and you want to step far enough apart so that when you go down, you form two 90 degree angles in your knees. Mm -hmm. You have a See, 90 the key degree is, angle here and a 90 degree. This yeah. like right. Yep. So people push out yeah. over the toe. You want to make sure your knee me, stays yeah. behind your toe. <laughs> your torso is upright. You can put your hands at your hips if you want to. Mm -hmm. And you, you dip and you go down. This is the most basic form of the lunge, and there's so many countless ways to do them. Forward, backwards, lateral, static, kinetic. But if you can't go as deep as you're going, you don't have to get down that low. You just The key, again, is... is your position. That's a modification. Some people can't get that low because right. their their knees are um, are arthritic or such. But even just a tiny dip like this will start to increase the muscles in your in your legs. And so, if you're out there cycling, if you're out there running, at what point should you be doing this? Is it part of the warm up? Is it something you do afterward? Between? Does it matter? It's Off a, days. <laughs> it's a supplement to the cardio that you should be doing. So um, you probably want to do it on a day that you're not doing a long run mm -hmm. so that your legs can focus on the building the muscle strength instead of doing the endurance. And I think people underestimate the lunge. I mean, it really, you do them, and I think you're going to be really sore the next day. Yes. I mean, it's all the muscles in your legs you're working. Uh, if you think that you're doing pretty well with that, should you add some weights to the lunge? Mm -hmm. I mean, because you could kind of use some. That's the natural progression, adding weights. But be careful. Um, yeah. You want to consult a trainer or a physical therapist to make sure you're not going to overdo it. Do you see people doing lunges improperly all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the question is, do you go up to them the or do you Sometimes. not? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, thank you. Do you have a question for our experts? Email them at AskTheExpert, today's TMJ4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, number to call, 967-5253.